How are we now, everyone? So I just conducted a very basic test to confirm the truth of the whole situation. And that'll be what I'm about to explain here. So uh, we have this configured exactly the same. Nothing's changed. Um, this comes all the way through. Uh, both, both polarities here are working in a constructive way with the earth ground to give us a, a whole bunch more energy. Now, on the back side here, uh, you can see I have a 2 mega ohm voltage divider. <laughs> Knocked my microphone out. I have a 2 mega ohm voltage divider coming out to this meter, and I wanted to see if indeed we still have a potential between the positive of the capacitor. I suspected we did, but practical experiments confirm uh, that's the case. So we have a positive potential on that side of the capacitor with these two combined, rectified, and unrectif against the unrectified earth ground. So that means that if I take now and carry on this earth ground to this connection here, and now this is where it gets into another component, but then we would step that down through the voltage divider. Maybe I want to put a couple of those voltage dividers in parallel to increase the current. Uh, that I'll probably try. But as it stands right now, there is a potential between these two. But not only that, something interesting happens. <laughs> so let's turn it on. It performs the exact same. Okay. You can see that we have 4,000 volts in this capacitor. You can still hear it doing that pew, pew. We have 2,000 volts in this potential feed to the earth ground out of that side of the capacitor. So again, uh, through the voltage divider or, yeah, it has to be through the voltage divider. Either that or we're only collecting half of what's available here. So, uh, but being that we are stepping it down, it should probably be in that range. I'll add another vo uh, resistor to that, and then I'll be able to put it into this 1400 volt capacitor as long as I'm, you know, maybe at around 1000 volts after the divider. Then I'll increase the resistance in parallel until we get enough charging speed to put a potential on that plate. Then what I'm proposing happens... There's a number of things yet to go here. Number one, the varistor to clamp the voltage. Say if we were going to do this without that, we would want to clamp the voltage so that what's coming in here doesn't exceed what we can deal with from this side. And um, also there's the earth ground resistance, which we could place there to give an electron dam on the earth energy side. That would go... Absolutely, uh, it would be earth ground, resistor, half bridge, half bridge. And then um, after that half bridge, or, well, okay, before the second half bridge, but after this arrangement, you would put your varistor, and then you would rectify the varistor, because that'll clamp at AC at, so let me say, 600 volts, whatever you want, and then it would go into the diodes and in. And it wouldn't have to be these high voltage diodes after the varistor because it would already be clamped. But you can see this is very stable. Now, the interesting part. As soon as I shut this off, what happens? Well, this is where it gets interesting because we have a reserve. We get a kickback. And then these spark gaps come alive for a few seconds. So let's just show you that. You can see it depleting. The power has been removed. So um, that's another interesting effect here. All right, guys, that's all I got for you for now. Uh, more experiments coming soon. Ciao.